live, live from the Ventura Safra Synagogue, Mechalot. אתה עושה את זה, או את זה. אני אביא את שניהם ככה, פיתוחים. יש פה מים, מים פה בצד פה. תשים So it's a great honor and a privilege for me to stand here in this uh, special program, the Rabbi Galimidi, uh, the Rabbi Galimidi uh, did. And when he asked me to come to talk, I must confess that I said right away, no. I have no time and uh, to talk in English, it's not the first language and there is so many things that I want to express myself and I just don't able to. Because uh, obviously in, the, in Hebrew I can express myself and I can talk much more freely and I have so much uh, ideas in Hebrew that I just cannot put the exact words in English and probably you will find down the lecture some mistakes that I'm making so it's completely not my fault, I had a very bad English teacher. <laughs> So I guess the next time when I will take uh, classes, I, can, I take some, uh, somebody to help me with the English. So I need to handle with the English that I do have. So I am um, apologized from now. Um, so the rabbi asked me to talk about the situation in Eretz Israel and we're very worried. And you don't even realize how people go in there with the head, with the, 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 the totally, the, all the atmosphere in Israel right now, it's really bad. People very concerned, people very worried about the future. They don't know what the, the, what's the, what will be, what will be. And uh, a lot of people know uh, people in the army and people come to me and ask me a very complicated question in all the parts of the Shulchan Aruch. Uh, Shulchan Aruch in Choshen uh, Mishpat, in Eben Ezer, also Orachayim Veore Dea, but the most complicated question is soldiers, they go into the war and some of them die and they ask me so much question and I was so amazed to see the question. I said, maybe we need in this generation the Rambam, the Rashba, the Rosh, they should come and answer to those questions, not uh, the poskim of this generation. And people very horrified and terrified. And I tell you, uh, in the first week, in the second week, things was so bad in Israel, people just locked the doors and all the time was tense, every, somebody, every time somebody knocked the door, everyone was jumping that bad, that bad. And uh, you don't, I don't think you feel it, uh, you, you feel this, uh, this uh, energy here in the United States, but it's really bad, uh, the situation over there. And we, we need to see and to ask ourselves, Ma'asa Elohim Lanu, which the Achim blame HaKadosh Baruch Hu, when they find that Vayimtza Ish Be'eftach Et Amtachato, Vayimtza Et Kaspo Ushar Be'fi Amtachato, Vayitze Libam Vayomer, Ma'asa Elohim Lanu. The Gemara said in Masechet Ani Tet Amud Alef, Yivelet Ish Tesalef Darko Ve'al Hashem Izaf Libo. If there is something that HaKadosh Baruch Hu make, he brings, he's he, he doing something. There is a process over here. Don't think it's suddenly. Nothing is suddenly. Everything, mechushav, everything, HaKadosh Baruch Hu have a very, very detailed plan to bring the Mashiach, to bring us to the Geula, even though it's come with the suffer, with pain, with sacrifice, but still, HaKadosh Baruch Hu have the exact plan what he's doing. We have obligation to see and to understand what HaKadosh Baruch Hu expect from us, what is his plan that HaKadosh Baruch Hu doing in a very bad way, in, instead to be happy in Simchat Torah, to dance with the Torah, the most significant day in the entire year, that we got the Torah, we need to be happy with the Torah. And in this specific day, HaKadosh Baruch Hu give us such a huge, tremendous tragedy, we can't even understand it. The Gemara said, Pei Zayin Shabbat, Asara Atarot Natal Oto Ayom. 
ראשון למעשה בראשית, ראשון לשיכון שכינה, ראשון לירידת אש מהשמיים, ראשון להבאת הנשיאים. And this, in this happy day, הקדוש ברוך הוא קיר נדב ואביהו. So the Gemara said, in this happy day, it's a, it's a holiday, it's a day that we should be happy. And in this day, it make this day משמחה לאפלה, מאורה לחשיכה, משמחה לאבלות. In this day, הקדוש ברוך הוא choose a lot of who. There is something that הקדוש ברוך הוא want to tell us. And it's so clear and it's screaming till the sky. It's not that you can say, you know, מדרכו של העולם, אז בחרו את היום הזה. It's not work like this. הגמרא אומרת, הגמרא explain us that הקדוש ברוך הוא, הוא נותן בלב של הבני אדם, הקדוש ברוך הוא put in the heart, in the decision of the people, even our enemy, when and how and where and in which way to hurt us. So nothing is uh, randomly. If you think something in, in this universe, in any, 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 circumstances will be you think it's randomly so you kofer there is no such a thing randomly in judaism agmara omeret en davar kaze akrai en davar kaze bemikre rambam write down in a very clear way mi sheyagid darko shel olam are ze derech akhzari if you think if you want to say it's happened there is a, a nation She want this land and the other nation, they beat them up and they fight. It's happened, דרכו של עולם. מי שיגיד דרכו של עולם, הרי זה דרך אכזרי. אין דרכו של עולם. Special what we just saw about the nature. When you saw it, it was all the circumstances of this tragedy, it's something that you cannot explain and describe in words. I ask you, One here, one here, even more, the Hamas trying to, uh, to hurt Am Israel. They, they bring weapons, they make exercise next to the wall. Everything was there. Every, and they, they add even the, a statement in Al Jazeera, in the TV, that soon we coming into Am Israel. And what the Prime Minister said, Netanyahu, ah, don't forget, don't worry about it. Ah, they're scared from us, because we're the strongest, we're smartest, we, ah, this is what you think. And how come in this day, the specific day, no one was there for the, for the, for the people to protect them? Where have you been? Where is the soldiers? Where is... Where is Amodi'in? Amodi'in, the Israeli, who is so proud of himself, where is Amodi'in? Where is the head of the army? Where is the Ramatkal? Where is the police? Where is the army? Where is the Mossad? Where is the army? No one knows? No one knows? It's, it's not something that you can accept and say, you know, It's happened. You talk about huge, big deal over here. And no one knows. It was, suddenly it happened. Atkafat peta. It's lie. Ze lo atkafat peta. Ze nikra lishon beshmira. Ze nikra shakadosh baruch hu did something that the eflah Hashem mitmakatcha aflaa rabba meod. Don't think that when akadosh baruch hu punch am Israel, it will be normal. It will be above the nature that you will see that Yad Hashem Oya Bemiknecha Asher Basadeh Bagmalim, Basusim, Bachamorim, Bakao, Batson, Dever Kabed Meod. You will see that it will be above the nature. I ask you, Binu Shnodor Vador, did you ever saw any nature, any nation that take and make a tattoo on the ends of the, our enemies? There is such a thing only in the Holocaust. You saw it in some... You don't have time to deal with this. Lama, above the nature, things that it's not regular. You understand Yad Hashem was there to the, not, not to protect us, 
to show you that I give you something here, read the message. I don't do things just because I'm bored or I just want to punish you in a regular way. It's not regular way. It's, 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 if you, if I would, I don't want to share with you the, the experience that I got from the people when they was there. They talk babies to put baby, live babies in inside of the oven. They rape women. They cut heads of people. They take some rashim shel anashim nasu itam leaza. Ishiru taguf be 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 otef aza velakhu et kol rashim shel anashim nasu itam leaza. You want me to tell you more than that? If I will share with you the people come to share with me the experience that they had over there, they cannot even eat, they cannot even drink. You know how many people inside of a mental institution? You know how many people from this uh, scenario take drugs and pills? They cannot handle with the situation. And I understand it perfectly. Why? Because they trust on the tzava, they trust on the army, they trust on the police, they trust on everyone. Come on, where have you been? Where have you been? Eskirut, eskirut. Mashu that you cannot even explain, it makes you so mad. In the first time in the history that I remember, Naraiti Gamza Kanti, that everyone in the government want to take revenge. It wasn't like this, never like this. Why? Why? Because everyone understands Something was wrong here. So they tried to make up on the fadiha, on the, on this, uh, on what they did. I, 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 I when you, when you see Ashgachat Hashem Lera'a, Lo Ashgachat Hashem Letova, Lera'a, Lama Kadosh Baruch Hu make everyone blind. Everyone was blind. And five hours, five hours, they did whatever they want. Kill, rape, burn. Four, four mitot bedin asu la anashim shama. Sekila, serefa, ereg, chenek. Five hours. Where have you been? We don't talk about, you know, let a mikdash asheni. I have a tragedy, I understand, 200, 2,000 years ago, Batitus killed the people, all Yerushalayim full of blood. Okay, we talk about 2023 with all the cameras, with all the te technology, with everything that you have. How come? You can, if you don't see eye behind, שהקדוש ברוך הוא היה שם כדי להעניש, you blind. הקדוש ברוך הוא פנישט, if you think it's דרכו של עולם, you cruel, you אכזר, זה לא דרכו של עולם. So what הקדוש ברוך הוא expect from us, what הקדוש ברוך הוא want from us to understand, what we should learn from it. So, obviously, obviously, and it's very clear to me, Obviously, that it's one of, I hope it's not the first, but I hope it's the last, but it's not the last, part of the Geula. The Geula Chazal bring, it's like, um, like labors. A woman pregnant and she wants to give birth. And the baby starts to kick because he wants to get, get out. He want to come out. And now is, is he has labors. Now first labor, it's painful, but not that bad. Slowly, slowly, when, they, when they, we get closer and closer to the moment the baby will come out, slowly, slowly, the labors get more and more stronger. I believe this was the first labor. Don't get panicked because I didn't finish my lecture. <laughs> but I believe this is, was the face, first labor. Because Chazal promised in Masechet Megillah Daf Yudzayin Amud Alef, Milchama Atchalat HaGeulai. A war, this is a sign for us 
that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to save us, want to deliver us. This is how it goes. It will not come with no war. We need a war. If you see a war, as long as it's m m more cruelly, more tense, more painful, you will, you will know this is it. Milchama atchalat a A war is the first step of salvation. This is how it goes. And all the Mefarshim, and special the Ramak, Rabbeinu Moshe Kordovero, 500 years ago in Tzfat, he wrote Perush on the Zohar. And he says there, why we need it, why it have to come with war? And he said few reasons. The first reason, and I think it's so clear, why we need a war. Tell me something. You sit here in Miami, Probably you have, um, you have um, plan to go to uh, Pesach to Aruba. A lot of people go to Aruba, and they're amazing. Some of them go to, I don't know, Cancun, Pesach, why not? And then some of them just start to go recently to Dubai. Dubai, very nice. Some of them make shopping. Where are they going to shopping? I don't know. Some of them go to Hawaii with the flowers and drink coconut, coconut water. Amazing life. Amazing. You like life. Which car you drive? Tesla, of course. Why not? And what you doing every night? Every night. Sometimes we go into this restaurant, sometimes to that restaurant. Amazing. What you like to smoke? It's between us, Rabbi. I don't want to share this with you, but we smoke. We smoke. Amazing. What do you like? Where do you like to make your shopping? Shopping? We're going sometimes to Manhattan, to vacation. Sometimes we're going to, I don't know. We, we live. So how you describe uh, life, basically? Life is good. Life amazing. So tell me, why you want Mashiach? For which purpose you you asking for the Mashiach? I don't know, Rabbi. Why we need Mashiach? We need Mashiach? Yes, you said Mashiach now. So why you need it? I don't know. He will build us the Bet Hamikdash in Jerusalem. He will build. We'll come. We'll bring korbanot and we'll come back to Miami. Because <laughs> it's amazing, Miami. Amazing, United States of America. Rabotai, people don't wait for the Mashiach. So, Akadosh Baruch Hu put us in the corner, chuck us, put us in a situation that you, he will force us to ask the Mashiach. Because in normal circumstances, in life, as life right now, you don't need the Mashiach. You have everything that you need. You have wife, you have kids, you have money, you have vacation, you have shopping. For what I need the Mashiach? I have the Mashiach. You have everything that you need. You don't need the Mashiach. Mashiach is supposed to come to deliver us. And if you don't feel that you're in the jail, so HaKadosh Baruch Hu will put you in the corner until you feel you're in a jail. Until you understand that you need to call him, please give us Mashiach, because we need it. Because it's our salvation. And if you don't ask for it, he will not come. Just like Eliyahu Anavi in the Brit Milah, Zohar. Zohar ba'akdama daf yud gimel, Zohar lech lecha bedaf tzadi gimel, Zohar omer, im lo mazmin et Eliyahu Anavi la Brit Milah, la shari taman, hu lo ba. If you don't invite ver verbally, you need to take, take it out from your mouth. Ze ha'kiseh le Eliyahu Anavi zachur letov, bo Eliyahu sheba la kiseh. If you don't say it, he will not come. It will not come. This is just similar that what the Zohar described in some other place in Zohar Parashat Emor Tzadik Zayin Amud Aleph in the Ushpizin, Besukot. If you don't invite the Ushpiz, Avraham, this is your chair, please come. Give us from your holiness. Give us a power. Give us some light from you. If you don't invite them, it will not come. The Zohar say the same thing in Zohar Parashat Ruma Kuf Samechtet regarding to the Shechina on the Chupa. The Chatan supposed to come and invite the Shechina to come down on the Chupa. And if he will not do it, she will not be there. 
So you need to say, בואי כלה, בואי כלה, שבת מלכתה. As חז"ל said, בבא קמא למד בית רגרתי תו דה שבת. You need to invite. And the same thing with the Mashiach. You need to invite him. You need to want him to ask, please give us, we need it. But you don't need it. You have a nice car, nice life. Well, what you need it? One time I went to New York. So I, I went to Brooklyn. And uh, some guy met me in the street. He told me, Rabbi, you're the rabbi of YouTube? I told him, God forbid, no, I'm not rabbi of YouTube. He said, I stay on YouTube all the time. I will show you the rabbi of the YouTube. I told him, no, I'm not. And if, I, if, if, if you think so, so I just, I just don't want this job. So he told me, can you make me a favor? I just finished to build my house over here. Can you put a mezuzah in my house? I told him, yeah, why not? I'd be more than happy. My big, big honor. So I came to his house, obviously, because he built such an amazing house. He, de he decided to make me a tour inside of his house. I like it. He took me three floors up and 20 floors down. <laughs> Brooklyn shel mala, Brooklyn shel mata. Nothing was legal, obviously. They put the wall and went after the inspection go. Yalla, ויצאו משמחה ממצרים. Olympic pool down there, down there sauna, down there China, everything they go down there. After we finish, it was a funny to see, we went to Sharet Zion to pray. So some guy came next to us and he told to this guy, the owner of the house, Ahalan. Suri, say Ahalan to other Suri. Ahalan. He said, Ahalan. After he went, he told me, you know this guy? He's so rich. I'm jealous of this guy. I ask myself, why Akadosh Baruch Hu didn't give me money like he gave to this guy? Come on, we just been in your house. <laughs> you have a house, you took a few houses. You know, this is how it goes in Brooklyn. They take a few houses, they shut them down, and they build some uh, castle. This is how it goes. After we finished our bit, I told them, you know, it uh, was a uh, very nice uh, introduction. It's very nice to meet you. But I have to ask you something that really bothered me. He asked me, yeah, but what, Rabbi, what's bothering you? I told him, you know, I'm asking you, you built such amazing castle, amazing, amazing castle. Do you really wait to the Mashiach? So he said, of course, yes. We wait for the Mashiach. We're asking at Semach David Avdecha Meirat Atzmiach. We want Mashiach now. I told them, yeah, but when the Mashiach will come, you're going to Yerushalayim. And this amazing house, stay here. <laughs> so you still wait to the Mashiach? He said, it's not staying here. I told him, yes, it is. He said, no, the Mashiach will take all my house and bring it to Mamila. <laughs> come on, give me a break. So you see, people doesn't ask for the Mashiach because they, they, don't, they don't wait for him, really. You feel you in suitcase? You feel you temporary? Not in this world, in this America. You feel you temporary? Oh, no, my become temporary, Rabbi. Everything for permanent. We're going to live forever. Yeah, this is how you feel? When you go to hotel for a few, for a weekend in the hotel, everything bothering you? Huh? I don't like this window, ah, this sheet, never, I, I, I will never put the white, nah, I don't like this, let's switch it, let's change it. You will never do it, why? Because you're in a weekend. Few days and you go back home. Rabotai, this world is a weekend, and America, it's a weekend. And if you think you're here for good, you're not waiting for the Mashiach, don't fool yourself. ציון היא דורש אין לה, אומרת הגמרא סוכה מ"ב, אמר רבי יוחנן בכלל דבאי דרישה, you have to ask for it, you have to ask for it, מכלל דבאי דרישה. So, הרמת write down very very nice explanation, why the Mashiach should come through war, why we need a war? Because if, if הקדוש ברוך הוא make 
very, very strong war in the world, then you will feel unsecure. You will feel uncomfortable. You will feel tense. You will be nervous. You will not, you will, will be terrified, horrified. I don't know. And then, במצור, במצוק, במוחין דקטנות, yes, yes, I want the Mashiach, I want Hashem, I want salvation. But in normal, normal circumstances, you don't wait for him. So this is amazing first reason why the Ramak said, מתחמה התחלת הגאולה. למה צריך שהגאולה תבוא במלחמה? כי בחיים רגילים אתה לא מחכה למשיח. You don't wait for him. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu shock you, and he take all the world. Right now, Israel מרגישים strong. Why? Because behind the shoulders there is the big brother, Uncle Sam, or Uncle Biden. or grandfather, or whatever. He came to protect us. Yes? You, you trust America? The Gemara said, Oy vavoy lemi sheiftach bebnei adam, you trust people. Daf tzadik alif omut bet baba batra, man derachitz laun dilet dileun. If you trust people, HaKadosh Baruch Hu put you in the hands of people. Kol atoshavim, kol a citizen, all the citizen, otfe, otef aza, they trust the army. They trust people. And what's happened? You trust people? Okay, they protect you. And you see what's happened. You trust Uncle Sam? And the, the Rabbi Eliyahu Aitamari, he lived 250 years ago in Izmir, in Turkey. He wrote down, Gog and Magog, if there are 70, to say that all 70 of the world are against Israel. You know what this? All the nations will Will, will realize, in the beginning it will not, not be like that. There is two groups, pro-Palestine, pro-Israel. Suddenly, suddenly, everyone will be pro-Palestine and against Israel. And then you will realize, uh, it's hopeless, it's hopeless. We can't, we, we can't even fight Gaza without the help of America to shut down Hezbollah. We cannot do it, right? Hezbollah, you meraskim et ha-medina im lo Uncle Sam ba va ose kacha. Everybody understand, everybody realize, everybody admit. Right? This is how it goes. Now, my yesh Iran, which is country and strong, she will start with Israel? Huh? My yesh? How are they going to end with this one? The my yesh kol umot ha-olam, all the nations, including our big friend America, When they will get there, and they will be against Israel, how are we supposed to survive this scenario? Huh? How are we supposed to survive? You think you're strong enough? You make yourself full with this, with, with this war. Alpain mechablim in Toyota ve kafkafim. Im kafkafim. Ma, en lecha fadicha yoter gdola mizot? זה ייזכר לחרפון ודיראון עולם למדינת ישראל, הפדיחה הזאת. וחכו אחרי שיגמר המלחמה, יהיה פוסט טראומה, יתחילו לערוף ראשים. הוא יגיד אתה אשם, הוא יגיד אתה. חכו, המדינה תקרוס, תקרוס. And honestly it's going to be like that. So, then, when you realize all the nation against us, the, the Midrash said, אפשר לכבשה אחת בין שבעים זאבים? It's possible the one sheet? 70 wolves? אם לכבשה יש רועה, he will protect her. אם השם רועי לא יחסר. דן, דן, ויצא השם ביום ההוא ונלחם כי יילחמו ביום קרב. The Gemara said there is מלחמות, this is the lashon of the Gemara in Sanhedrin Tzadik Zayin, מלחמות גוג ומגוג. It's not going to be in one shot. It will be like labors. Like laborers, there is um, steps. In the first one, boom. The three times in the Navi. Yechezkel HaMetchet, Yechezkel HaMetchet, Zechariah Yud Gimel Yud Daled. Yechezkel HaMetchet, Milchama, Begvulot Yerush Eretz Yisrael. Like Lebanon from here, Aza from here, Gvulot Eretz Yisrael. 
זה לחזקאל ל"ח. יחזקאל ל"ט מלחמה inside of the country of Yerushalayim, they said the Navi Yechזקאל in פרק ל"ט, and זכריה י"ג י"ד, which is the most cruelest describe, he described it so badly. מלחמה בירושלים הבירה. ונתן את ידו ועלתה ידו בידו. עיניו תימקנה בחוריהם. לשונות, his tongue will melt. He described there a weapon unconventional. I don't know it's going to be גרעין, לא גרעין, הולך להיות שם גזים, something, when you read it, you understand it's not regular weapon. עיניו תימקנה, his eyes going to suck inside of his body. לשונו תימק בפיו, ידו עולה ביד, הוא נותן יד לחבר שלו, והיד שלו נקרעת, והוא מחזיק את היד של החבר שלו. You understand, you read it. I give you the source, you will read it, go. See it by yourself. לחזכריה פרק י"ג י"ד. ולכן חז"ל קוראים לזה מלחמות גוג ומגוג. You think you can handle with this scenario? Obviously you cannot. So this is why HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, כי אם אצא אתך מארץ מצרים, אראה לו נפלאות. How many miracles there was back then in Egypt? How many? We said ten. דם צפרדע, כינים הרוב. In the last כאולה, HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, I give you חמישים, fifty miracles. Now I ask you, in a normal circumstances as is now, out there in the, in the country, for what we need miracle? Now, 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 how the world look like, how it looks like now? How the life running right, right now? You need miracle? No. When there is a war and you are about to fail and to lose, you need miracle. So this is why Chazal explained מלחמה התחלת הגאולה. כי אם לא יהיה מלחמה, השם לא יעשה מיריקל, כי we don't miracle, we don't need a miracle in the normal circumstances. So there is two reasons right now why we need a war. First one is because we need to ask for the Mashiach. Just when he shock you, כי שחה לעפר נפשנו דווקא בלארץ בטננו, when we just about to die, קומה עזרת הלן ובדלו למען חסדיך. This is how it was in נחשון בן אמינדב. קפצו למים, הוא קפץ לים סוף, עד שהגיעו מים עד נפש, הקדוש ברוך הוא open the sea. This is just what the Kaddosh Baruch Hu expects from us. לבקש את המשיח. We don't really want him. We don't really wait for him. We make a lot of investment of Olam Azeh, of America, of money, of... You don't really want him. So this is why the Kaddosh Baruch Hu must put us in the corner that you will ask him from the bottom of your heart. And the last part of the Galut will be the most difficult one. Just like was in, back then in Egypt. 86 שנה האחרונות של גלות מצרים, שנולדה מרים, קראו לה מרים מרוב מרירות הגאולה, המרירות הגלות. בידר, מרים, מרה, היא הייתה, היה מר, מר מאוד. פרעה רק בסוף גזר כל ה... בין היורות תש, תשליכו. 150 תינוקות בבוקר הוא היה שוחט, סקוויז דם, היה ממלא אמבטיה מלאה בדם שלהם ושוחט אותם. הש, ה, הסוף של גלות מצרים הייתה הכי קשה. This is what the Lord is doing over here. The last few years of the Galut will be the most difficult, painful, cruel, I don't know how you want to call it, but it will be hard. So this is the second reason why the Lord is going to have to bring a war to the world. Why? Because he wants to show himself, to make for us a miracle, to show that he is the master here. He is the master here. How we show himself that he bought a bait? Miracles. Above the nature. Kei metzet cha meretz mitzrayim arenu niflaot nun pelaot. It's going to be stunning. Amazing. Ze ma shach Zohar omer. Bachi Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon had a vision. He saw to the end of the times. To the end of the days. They call it Armageddon. I don't know how they call it. But we say it's the Yemot HaMashiach, Hevle Mashiach, no, it's not called Havalim, like Hevle Leida, just the same. Bachi Rabbi Shimon and Bachi Hebraya start to cry. They ask him, Rabbi, Amai Kabachit, why are you crying? He said, 
חייבה מאן דאשתכח באו זמנה וזכאה מאן דאשתכח באו זמנה. I can see in a נבואה in רוח הקודש what's, what's happening in the end of times before the משיח will come. Miserable the person will live then. חייבה יהיו מאן דאשתכח באו זמנה. He will be horrified and terrified. He will be scared about him, about his family, about his business, about his money. He will not be the same miserable situation, miserable life, horrified, terrified. He will be scared. But Zaka'ai human dishtakach be'au zimna. Ashrav. It's good for him if he will survive all this. Why? He will see the miracles of Yad Hashem Oya. I always want to be in Egypt when HaKadosh Baruch Hu make the miracles. Every Lela Seder I said, I missed it. Look which miserable generation HaKadosh Baruch Hu put me in. I want to be then. To see Dam, Tzfardeh, Akinim, Arov, to see Sus, Berochbo, Rama, Bayam, to see all the miracles, to get stronger, to get much closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's coming soon. even much more bigger. So this is two reasons why HaKadosh Baruch Hu has to bring the Mashiach with the war. The third reason they are Maram um, 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 Zohar Emor Peichet Amud Bet, Zohar Beshalach Nulchet Amud Bet. The Zohar explain that HaKadosh Baruch Hu want to pay back to Umot HaOlam. They make us miserable, they kill, they fight, they did whatever they want in Am Yisrael. Nebuchadnezzar החריב בית ראשון, שר הטבחים שלו היה נבוזר אדן, טיטוס החריב בית שני, אבא שלו אספציאנוס החריב את כל הגליל, אנדריאנוס החריב את כל ירושלים והפך אותה לאיי חורבות, אחר כך היה לנו את, 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 את עוד הרבה לפניהם, היה את אה, 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 אנטיוכוס אחרי זה היה לנו את בלשצר עוד לפניו, זה היה הבן של נבוכה, כולם היו רשעים. הקדוש ברוך הוא want to pay back? What do you think? So הקדוש ברוך הוא, listen carefully what the Zohar said, Zohar בשלח דף נ"ח עמוד ב' Bring all the evil people in גלגול of the last generation, which גלגול? Of the leaders of the nature, nations. I don't know, maybe, maybe Ahmanijan, it's Gilgul Nebuchadnezzar. And maybe, Bekitsu, uh, uh, maybe Putin, Gilgul Shal, I don't know what. And then HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to pay them back. So it must to be through war. הבאתי את כל, אספתי את כל הגויים אל ירושלים במלחמה. למה אל ירושלים? מקום שהם חטאו, שם אני נפרע מהם. אז זה חייב לבוא דרך המלחמה, דרך ירושלים. And the four and the last reason the Ramak mention, why? In inside of us there is a lot of ערב רב. זה הקדוש ברוך הוא want to make selection. לא ראוי לערב רב לראות את ה-salvation, את הגאולה, את ה-miracles that הקדוש ברוך הוא will make. You know what's happened in the last year? It's, it was horrible what's going on in ארץ ישראל. They didn't, השמאלנים, they didn't give even a chance to pray and separate women and a man in, in uh, תל אביב. They came with uh, electric shockers in יום הכיפורים. They, they buzz people. They bug people. And in this Shabbat of uh, Simchat Torah, before all the tragedy, they had a discussion in the, in the, in the news אם יהיה הקפות בהפרדה או לא יהיה הקפות בהפרדה, אם יהיה מדינה. So how you expect, what do you think, that הקדוש ברוך הוא will sit and quiet and let you do whatever you want? אה? Huh? כמה הוא שותק? כמה אפשר? There is a rev rav inside, you can feel it very strongly. There is two nations inside of Am Yisrael. You call it שמאלנים, ימנים, you call it whatever you want. But inside there is two, two groups. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, enough. It's about time to make separation, to make this selection. All the rev rav will die in מלחמת גוג ומגוג. מי שישאר, הם גאלתי אתכם אחרית כראשית. כמה בראשית יצאו ממצרים? יהודי אחד מתוך חמש יהודים. ככה זה עתיד להיות. יהודי אחד, כל הארבעה ערב רב ימותו. 
So this is a four, the, a four reason already, for five reasons that I mentioned, why the, we have to, why the Geula supposed to come uh, with the war. Now, after all this Nevoad Zam that I just gave you, people might go home and cry. Oh my gosh, what we should do? Maybe we'll make Aliyah right now. Maybe we take all the money to invest in Eretz Israel. Maybe we should sell everything. Maybe we should, uh, we, how, how we will save ourselves. And it's completely understandable. I understand it. And the Gemara gives us the recipe how to save ourselves. In Gemara, in Masechet Sanhedrin, Tzadik Chet Amud Bet, Sha'alu Talmidav Shel Rabbi Eliezer HaGadol, They ask him, Ma ya'ase Adam v'yinatzel mimilchemet gog u'magog? What's the recipe? What's the, the, the way to escape, to run away, to inatzel mimilchemet gog u'magog? Amar la'em, two things, only two things. And you protect. Ya'asok batorah v'gmilut chasadim. Ya'asok batorah v'gmilut chasadim? Don't worry. You don't have to get panic. There is a big, huge plane that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to bring the Geulah. So we doing, He's doing everything for us. He loves us. He wants us to be good. He wants us to be reuim la Geulah. Lizkot la Geulah berachamim. Ech omer HaMidrash? Yalkut Ishaya taf tzadik tet. Banai, al tefachdu, kshu medaber shom al melchemet gogu magog, we explain all this horror of the, the war. He said, don't be scared. Kol ma shani oseh bishvilachem ani oseh. Egi azman geulatchem. It's for you. When, uh, the Gemara said, ech omrim ra'am? Center? Right. Daf nunei masechet brachot. למה הקדוש ברוך הוא? וואי הקדוש ברוך הוא עשרה עמים בעולם? When you hear it, you... אתה נכנס... שייק. אתה נכנס ל... נכנס... נכנס פיט אין. ככה זה. אתה מיישר את עצמך. This war is רעם אחד. בום. עוד מעט יהיה עוד אחד. Don't think it's going to finish there. It will not. Don't be scared. And it will come again and again, boom, boom, boom. זה מה שהקדוש ברוך הוא want for us, המלך המשפט. דף י"ב עמוד ב' מסכת ברכות. הגמרא אומרת שם, המלך, כשהוא עושה משפט, המלכות שלו ניכרת. המלך הקדוש, אתה מפחד ממנו, הוא מלך. זה מה שהקדוש ברוך הוא עושה. What he want from us, he expects from us to understand it's not usual. If you ate somebody, בינו שנות דור ודור. שאל אביך ויקט לך, זקניך ויאמרו לך, look in the entire history. There is nation always against nations. This is how it goes. Fight, war was always, was and will be, always. But how it goes, one nature, she wants the land, kill everybody, go, the, go, go for them. הורגים אחד את השני, הורגים, הורגים, וממשיכים הלאה. They, they was very cruel. אנסו נשים, חתכו ראשים, עשו דברים שזה against the nature. Against all the... All the doesn't make sense how, many, how much time it took them to do it. So this is what הקדוש ברוך הוא expect from us. אני מביא רם, תיישר את עצמך, תיישר את עצמך. This is the first one. תורה וגמילות חסדים will protect you. Now there is תורה and there is תורה. There is Torah, somebody came, hardly, he hear Rabbi Eliyahu here in the morning in two halachot, eh, bezeo yotze yede chova, shta halachot kol yom, ben olam abba, muftach lo. Okay, that is it. That is it, come on. You really believe it. Right? Come on. There is Torah, when you sit and learn, you open the book, you take the pen, you try to mark her, you doing, you, 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 you chew it, you, it's part of you. This is considered to learn Torah. This is Torah will protect you. Don't fool yourself that with two halachot or when you eat bagel uh, in the breakfast and you hear uh, Rabbi Hanania making Chok uh, Israel, uh, it will save you. זה, תגיד תודה שהוא, it will, enough זכויות שתלך לשירותים ותצא, everything is good. בלי תחורים, בלי אבנים בכליות, בלי כלום. תגיד תודה. 
You really believe this is Torah will save you? You need to put yourself inside of it. You need to sacrifice. You need to give up. People doesn't give up. People doesn't give up on Olam Hazeh. They like Olam Hazeh. They don't like to suffer. One time I was in Or Sameach in Yerushalayim in the yeshiva. It's American yeshiva. Very nice guys. Chozrim b'tshuva. Sweet guys. Sweet guys. I always like to go there. You can see people. They came with face of of Olam Hazeh. And slowly, slowly they become angels. Amazing. Amazing to see it. So one, one time one guy came to me came to me, and he told me, Rabbi, נמאס לי מהשידוכים האלה, אין לי כוח כבר, כל דבר מציעים לי כל מיני דברים, I don't like the שידוכים, נמאס, they gave me such a דברים בדיעבד של הדיעבד, I don't want it. I told him, I told him, oh my gosh, what's happened? He said, ah, כבר אין לי כוח כל פעם לצאת, I don't want. So I told him, how long you in the שידוכים? He told me, Almost two months already. <laughs> so I ask him, really? People doesn't know how to suffer. They want everything instinct. My, my mother and my grandmother, when they used to cook, you know how much it took them? Ooh, from Thursday, they used to make the food all night. All the food. Today, microwave. Eat. Sarastain. Everything, tikneh, muhan, yala, lemal vashel. People catering. People doesn't want to suffer. If you want something, it's, it, you have to put yourself inside of it. This is why when they, when they say Torah, you have to understand it's not a regular Torah. It's Torah, it's Torah, with meat. Not something, you know, kacha, hafif. Vegmilut chasadim, it means that you need to Take from yourself, from your money, from your convenience, to the other people. Lazor l'ashul, lazor b'bet knesset, liftoach gmach. Lazor to the other people. Take from your advice. Take from your time. Do be a person that wants to. Everyone will be happy. Don't not just take care of your and your family. Other people. When you hear somebody have a son, be happy for him. Don't think yourself. Ah, oh, but, oh, but, oh, but. Oh. When he make a nice deal, don't eat yourself. Ah, oh. When he came with a nice car to the shul, don't open. Yeah. Come on. Be a person with a sun in your heart. Don't be dark. Don't be dark. So this is what Chazal gave us the solution. One, don't be scared. You have to understand it will get worse. And when it will get worse, you will remember this lecture, this will be the second labor. And then the third one. And we get closer and closer to the Geula. But you shouldn't be afraid. You should be mitchazek on Torah and gemilut chasadim for yourself. Torah chesed aleshona, gomel nafsho ish chasad, when you learn it. And other people, think about other people as well. Don't think just about your family. And then HaKadosh Baruch will protect you and save you. And then, Bezrat Hashem, maybe in this Pesach, I will see everyone here in Bet HaMikdash. It's not, it's not that far a dream. It could happen. Kadosh Baruch Hu can make everything. So now, after this lecture, I think that we understand where we're standing. We understand now all the process that HaKadosh Baruch Hu making to take us to the Geulah, to lead us to Bet HaMikdash. This is what we want from him, but we have to ask it, to ask it from the bottom of our heart. Our 
אז אם באמת נתחזק בתורה וגמילות חסדים, אז אין ספק בעולם שהקדוש ברוך הוא יעזור לנו על דבר כבוד שמו. Once again I want to thanks from the father of my heart to Rabbi Galimidi. I love him so much. He's such a special rabbi. And I think he's a, he's a, he's a, he make a revolution, big, big revolution in this shul. And I wish him, Be'ezrat Hashem, Bri'ut ve'atzlacha, she'ezkel l'amshich le... to lead this community to Torah, to Gmilut Chasadim ve'avodat Hashem. Chazak v'ruch. Thank you, Rabbi, for a magnificent and eye-opening shiur. And the Rabbi, Be'ezrat Hashem, will be flying back to Ares Yisrael tomorrow. So we wish him the pasuk that says, Be'yakob alech nederko, yachid berabim, alecha kerabim. And there is an open invitation to visit the rabbi uh, with Mashiach survival before Pesach. I'm more than welcome. Okay, Be'ezat Hashem, on a different announcement for the Kahal Kadosh, next Sunday, same hour, 5.45, Rabbi Eli Mansur will be here speaking to the entire Kahal Kadosh, as we have tonight as a hut of welcoming Rabbi Meir Eliyahu. So Be'ezat Hashem, plan your next weekend accordingly. I know that is the medium top of Thanksgiving, but nevertheless, the Torah uh, schedule continues, Be'ezat Hashem, and we'll send a flyer to the Kahal Kadosh. And once again, we should have Mesurot Tovot, and the Geulah Shelema, Amen. Rabbi Hananiah Ben Akashia Omer, Ratzah Kadosh Baruch